Oh, how we do is chase the day. How we do is, all we do is chase the day. Guys, Bitcoin overdose here. Your daily dose of crypto. I overdose. So you guys don't have to. Definitely go follow me over on Twitter. Link is down below for that. Um, at Bitcoin overdose. Again, your daily dose of crypto. Buy the dip, guys. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. We're flipping those shit coins right in the Bitcoin so we can make more Bitcoins. So we can make more money next bull run. Is that really how that works out, guys? Definitely click that subscribe button, though. Uh, definitely tap that notification bell somewhere around here then as well. And I don't know, guys. This market is really on the up and up today. And I don't want to say that I'm over bullish. But if this uh, pattern really plays out that Bitcoin's looking at, definitely um, definitely something to watch. I know that. Volume's kind of coming in. Four hour looks very solid. And we are looking at a $6,600 Bitcoin against the USD right now. And that's pretty wild to me. Uh, considering yesterday we were at about 62, 63, that area. We got a good pump this morning. We're right in the oversold territory or overbought territory, so we probably will dip a little bit. I don't know how much longer. This MACD is looking pretty solid though. We are on the we are on the rise. Now this has been really jagged with all of like the short liquidations and long liquidations and whatnot, but we are starting to look a little bit more normal. Um everybody acts like this hasn't been happening the whole time. It has, it's just been on a greater scale and there's more people involved. But the market kind of died off. You know, crypto is dead. So uh, definitely it's something to just keep an eye on. Again, guys, we are watching that inverse head and shoulders pattern. And I've been keeping a close eye on this uh, because I believe that if we do get that, it's going to, you know, be pretty bullish. I, I can't complain too much about it because if it does happen, I mean, just look at that. It'll just bull market right back up to where we were uh 7800 it's probably what i'm looking at for like a confirmed bullish outbreak and then we really have to clear that resistance that overhead resistance at 7700 uh 78 i mean 78 8, 000, that area uh i don't know how long this actually will take to play out and again it might not who knows guys um i don't i know you probably don't either that's probably why you're here actually right but the the fact of the matter is we've gotten a lot more bullish news in the space. I mean, we've had Litecoin Foundation buying a bank. We've had Coinbase possibly listing a bunch of ERC-20 tokens, including BAT, which I called the other day. And you guys didn't. I hope you guys bought. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a financial advice giver by any means, but I am looking at the markets probably a lot more than more people. So there's something to just take into consideration. Uh, you know, you just got to be ready when the time comes. And... I've been saying this for a long time, but just accumulate cash, get a lot fiat ready. You know, I mean, maybe, maybe you start working more or something like get a second part-time job, third time, third part-time job. Who knows? Uh, just, you know, accumulate, get ready to buy because now that you guys kind of understand how this market's going to work, this is the bull run that you're really going to be able to capitalize on. This is the bull run that you're going to be able to take profit from. This is also going to be probably your life-changing bull run next time it happens again we could be another year off we could be another two years off but this is definitely that time to just accumulate the fact that we've dipped into the liquidity zone from about 6300 down to about 5k only three times and we're maintaining above it we got more buyers coming in which is pretty solid again with all the bullish news coming out like i don't know how this could not be happening we have a lot more infrastructure in place. This market's growing quite a bit the last year. We've gotten a lot of smart people in there. So finally, the uh, autists are coming in and everybody's finally kind of coming up. Again, guys, go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose because at 200 followers, I might do something and 100 subs. So I need a couple hundred subs too. So definitely like click that subscribe button. But uh, yeah, so we have another hour before this closes. Looking good on the four hour chart. You know, we're zooming in again. Um, really just trying to break that neckline. So about, yeah, about here. And then that reconfirmation of at 73 or 75. And that is what will Bitcoin do? Now, guys, definitely looking at the market cap as a whole. We're up $20 billion today. 
uh, pretty solid. You know, that's a rise with Bitcoin and the altcoins. Altcoins are doing pretty well today, too. We were at 250 yesterday, so just something to watch a couple days ago, actually. But we are in a slight increase. Again, guys, dipping into that liquidity zone. Uh, every time we touch it, we get a little bit more powerful. So we'll see how much it actually dips. I know a lot of people are calling 3K, but I know a lot of people were calling 20 or 32K at the end of last year, too. So just something to watch out for. Bears and bulls both have to be very cautious trading in this area. We're actually at 6,666 Bitcoin right now. Nice. But uh, some of these tokens that are coming back up in here, I actually haven't seen for a minute, but like Ardor is back up in the top 100, made safe. I think people are going to find out what the good, you know, actual currencies are, or actual projects. And I think people are going to start getting smarter with the investments in this space. And hopefully it's not going to be like last bull run, you know, where not even a working product IOTA, you know, they got like a half partnership with IBM or something like that, but not even a working product. And that thing was valued at almost $8 or something like that. So, you know, four, maybe a month, but you know, there's gotta be like working stuff out here and Neo at $36. Holy shit. You guys remember when this was like a hundred and some, I just cannot believe like I don't even know. Price USD. Look at that. It was at 148 bucks. 157 it topped out at. Now it's all the way back down to pre-November levels. Even worse yet, guys. Like it's it's back down to like August of last year levels, which is nuts. That run up was fucking wild. I remember buying it at like 40 cents and selling it at like seven, and I'm rebuying it at like eight, and then selling it at like 14. But I cannot believe how far Neo has come. And I mean from ant shares all the way up. Then we also got Bitcoin for some reason. Like that's way overvalued. This shouldn't even be in the top 100. <laughs> I mean this project's been going on for like four years. The developers left, came back when the bull run started. Came back again when they got the Binance listing. And then pretty much fell off the face of the earth. So <laughs> I don't know. Um... You know, maybe that's Binance for listing bad coins, but the valuation, I mean, it's not even there anymore. Um, buying Bitcoin, though, just because of the hype, I feel like you could probably do pretty well. I think it's a privacy coin. Privacy mass privacy coin. Like, I should say that because there's 140 or 184 trillion of them. But, yeah. I don't know, guys. Looking at just, you know, we got to find good projects. Um... My watch list is definitely something to look out for. So again, I'm looking at Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, Stellar, Cardano. EOS though, that might not keep in the top 10. Although I think it will be like a thousand dollar coin at some point. I don't think it'll be in the top 10. And I don't know why I want to say that, but it's just like, I feel like they didn't really have their shit together when they launched. Stellar, Cardano, Binance coin, VeChain, 0x, Sia, Basic. I mean, this is what I'm looking at. This is my watch list for definitely 2018, 2019. Um, I still can't believe how well Binance has held up. That is something that's just out of this world. And I feel like the exchange coins will start doing that. Qcoin will probably do pretty well in the next year. and Because they have like a working purpose. You know, they have products. They have working algorithms. They got working like, you know, digital storage and all that stuff. So they are working on a lot of stuff for exchanges. And they're trying to decentralize, which is pretty nice. Uh, Funfair, you know, pretty solid coin too. I should be putting that on my watch list. Red coin is a no-go for me, dog. I've been in and out of that so often. I've lost all trades on it pretty much. There's no trading for it for some reason. Decentraland, though, pretty cool concept. I mean, there's obviously a lot out here. And we just got to pick the right ones. Like, Gifto might be cool. Cat or Quash. I've never heard of it. Poly, uh, polymath was a good idea, but it's only if security has happened for a lot of the tokens here. So it's already like regulation pretty much. But yeah, other than that, guys, nothing else I got to show you. Uh, Bitcoin overdose, you know, overdose on that Bitcoin and crypto and everything else. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin overdose on Twitter. Link is down below right in the description. And you also got the subscribe and the notification bell somewhere around here as well. Again. ADA giveaway at 200 followers and 
100 subscribers. So definitely something to watch out for, you know. Guys, I might be doing... I don't know how much I'm going to give away yet. So you guys will decide that, I guess, for me probably. But yeah. Awesome. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your day. Definitely peace out.